All right, all right, all right, guys. Welcome back to Sonic Adventure 2. Now, we did beat the game. We beat the story. But now, we're going to dive into, honestly, one of my favorite parts of this entire game. One of the main reasons why this is my favorite Sonic game of all time. And it's something that I wish that Sonic Team, for the love of everything nice and beautiful, would bring back into the franchise. Will they do it? Probably not. But it would make me extremely happy, and I'm sure it'd make a lot of other people happy too if they did. And what is that you're asking? Select the stage. What it is is the Chow stage. Now, as you can see, we don't normally above Shadow's level here. There'd be a little Chow World area with that little Chow symbol is at the top left there, uh, right to the bottom left of the Select the Stage uh, words up there. But we never collected any of the Chow uh, Chow rings or Chow keys. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through each and individual level and get the first chow key to show you guys where they are. Just the first key, not none of the crazy ones or none of the hard ones. Just get a key, and once we get a key, we can we have to finish the level, and then once we finish the level, we can then go as that particular character into the chow world. So we're gonna do all six characters, starting with Sonic here on City Escape. Now, his is actually pretty far down the, down the map. You actually have to go a long way down. So, let's just go ahead and go right through it here. And you're going to be seeing me doing this level a lot in the near future. This and Radical Highway. Both of those with Shadow. Because, I mean, I'm going to get all six characters. Don't get me wrong. But... I really only honestly use um, Sonic and Shadow just because there's there really isn't a point of using any other character I mean unless you want to maybe some of the special child require you to get um, use other characters but as far as I'm concerned you have to have Sonic Adventure 1 and do the child garden there with specific characters to get the specific child like the Amy Chow or the Tails Chow or whatever but all of the special Chow here are literally only it, it really depends if you're either a, a hero character like a, a hero or a dark character but the first Chow uh, thing is right here as you can see Oma Chow is right here Yep. So the, what she's saying is that the first one will always hold the child key, which is what this is. But the after you open the first the first box, you always open no matter where you are on the level, will give you a child key. The the next two you open will give you animals for the child garden, which I will explain what that is in a minute. So I'll explain what the chaos drives are and what the animals are for and all that stuff um, once we finish the level. So let's finish the level here, and then we will hop over in the Child Garden. I will show you in the Child Garden. Oh, come on. By the way, here's the second uh, ch uh, Child Box right there. We're just going to keep on going, keep on trucking. Alright, come on. That was a sack of crap. That, what's happening right now? I forgot how buggy this game can be. And then, fastest way down. Literally, this is the fastest way down. You go through that so quickly. Up we go. And the third child box is right there. Over here. In case you wanted to know. I mean the only time you'll see me use all three child boxes. Is way later when we're trying to get chaotic chow. But that's like way. Way down the road. So. We will not even worry about animals or anything like that for a long time. So, there is a, there is like a secret to Chow being able to put on hats. But for that to happen, your Chow has to, has to have, have collected a particular animal, which is the skeleton dog, I believe. Until then, they won't put on anything for like hats. But I really don't care about hats at all. I mean, I'll show you what the hats are. But 
I, I really don't care for him. I like the way that y'all work without the hats on. So, I mean, I mean, I, like I said, I'll show you guys. But that was cool. how did I get in rank rank A on that? Oh, you see that? Let's change it. Chow world. Here we go, baby. And there it is, Chow Lobby. So it has two. Uh, it only has one thing right now because we haven't hatched any uh, Chow yet. But I'll go ahead and come in here and show you the Chow Garden. So every Chow Garden comes with two eggs, one here and one here. So um, if you want. Obviously, you use your first two Chow to make either a, a, both a hero and a dark Chow. So we'll start with Sonic here. We'll make this uh, first little Chow here. We got a rocket here. Now I'm not gonna abuse the Chow in this game. Uh, I don't believe in abusing the Chow at all. So, but this is our first little Chow. Good cow. Oh, does he have teeth? Ooh, if he has teeth normally. I might make that the dark child. I like having my uh, dark child have teeth like showing like that. So I'll open this other egg. Pick it up, give it a rock, and I'll name both both child. So what be a good name for our hero child and a dark child? What do you think? A hero child or a dark child? So to get hero childs, by the way, you have to obviously use hero characters. They uh they give the hero properties to the child you own. Uh here it is, cute little buddy. And then obviously using dark characters will give you the dark child. So let's just jump through here. Now the child kindergarten you notice is now available since the uh, hatched child. Child kindergarten is a place where you can teach them how to do certain things, like uh some of them will be able to play trumpet, some can draw. And all these other things. If you come over to the fortune teller, the fortune teller will uh, tell us our child's name. The child is a newborn. I will give your child a good name. This child's lucky name is summoning the powers to be. What's it gonna be? Presto! Brandy. No, I'm not a fan of Brandy. Come on, let's see what you got. Give me a better name. It's gonna be a good hero's name. Cosmo. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, I'll keep Cosmo. Alright, Cosmo. Little buddy Cosmo. Here we go. Let's see what our uh, Chow's uh, stats are. Stats are very important. So, Chow's going to be healthy, of course. Uh, Chow's test results. Uh, neutral, because he hasn't done anything. Swim. Ooh, swim's bad. Uh, stamina. <laughs> okay. Running is A, so we might make this our runner. <laughs> but, you know, I always wanted our starting chow to be our chaotic chow, which I will explain the chaotic chow later. So, this is going to be our hero, Cosmo. He's a big eater, that's a big eater, so that means he eats a lot, a lot of food. And he's a square food, that's his favorite, and it's in good condition. Now, age here, if you look here and see age, Age is practically how many hours your chow has been alive. By hours, I mean like legitimately like real life hours that you're in the chow garden. So like every hour that you spend in the chow garden and the, and the time accumulates, meaning that if you're in for five minutes and leave, the timer will say you've been in there for five minutes. So the next time you go in, it'll start at five minutes. So when, when you've been in the garden for a total of an hour, your chow will go up an age. And your child lives up to age five before it's technically quote unquote dying and so that's that's something else completely there's a lot to take in a lot of information and also your child's records here so but okay and it says child because after it reaches a year it matures into an adult so we will make this guy our hero child but before that we hatch the other child so let me go ahead and drop this bad boy off, and then I will see you. No, let's let's not go quite yet. I will see you at shadows level. All right, guys, I'm back here at the uh, stage select, but now as you look, like I said, right above a shadow. Now we have the Chow selection, so you can click on it, and it'll show only Sonic, because Sonic is the only one I have that's collected a uh, collected a Chow uh, Chow key. So let's head over here to Shadow at Radical Highway. 
and I will collect his key. Oh, excuse me, got the burps. So this game, uh, these levels you can do so much faster once you have all the power ups. It's so much, it's ridiculous how easy it is. So if I remember correctly, was it back here? No. Was it underneath these boxes? I, I don't think it was. No, it was just an animal was underneath those boxes. Okay. Oh man, I haven't collected the keys in so long. So I'm gonna have to like go through here again and try to remember where the keys are. Like I said, I'll explain what all these like chaos drives and collecting when you defeat an enemy and all that stuff here in a little bit. Was it back this way? No. That's for another animal. Where is this Chalky? I think it may be right here. Was it back behind this way? No. Oh yeah, I remember now. It was right there. There we go. Collect the key. And let's just dash away. Finish the level. Ah, oh, come on. Well, y'all get the gist of it. I'll go ahead and just meet y'all at the end of the end of the uh, stage here. Here we go. All right, here we are. Ah, take a sip of my Dr. Pepper. All right, give me a bad grade. Bobby. Hmm, too easy for. One dog get an A. Now he notices the little chow symbol next to the rings. I forgot to point that out earlier. All right, let's grab this other chow here and let's name the bad boy, shall we? Look at all those chaos drives. Which one's this? Is this one? No, that one's Cosmo. All right, here we go. Let's name out these bad boys and then in... I will show you what happens when you influence with the darkness. Let's get a good name for our first dark chow. Don't the powers to be Presto Zack. Zack. Perfect. Just because I know a bunch of Zacks and all of them are, have evil tendencies. Hello, Zack. Good times. So, a few things I forgot to mention. Like, again, this is the classroom. This is where you can drop your chow off to learn different things. The principal here. Uh, you can come to this guy. This pretty much is like your knowledge thing. So if you want to learn about raising your chow and different tips and stuff, you can come here, and he'll he'll do the do the t different things. Like what is a chow? And this is pretty much the basics if you want to learn how things work, like mating and all this good stuff. Honestly, like as good as all this is to learn, it's pr I mean that's a good way to get started. But if you really want to learn, the best places to go is you guessed it, the internet. So, but this is the black market. Now, the rings you've been, we've been accumulating after we finish a level actually get stored in this bank for the black market. And this is where we can buy like different chow eggs and different fruits. And based upon like how many rings you have is what's available. And and every time you, you enter the chow world, uh, this can be a different thing or this can be the same. Like. What's in here is sometimes completely random. And then obviously if you bring an item like a fruit or a hat, you can sell it to them for a low, low price of whatever he feels like giving you. And also the more, as you can see, he said the more emblems you have, the more better items you can get. Like, yeah, you need a lot of items to be able to get some particular stuff. So let's, no, let's not leave the child garden. Let's go back. And let's put Zach here. Now before we go, I'll show you what uh, what it's like to influence the Chow. Now if you notice, they're both blue. Both kind of doing your own thing. The Chow Garden consists of their tr own trees that produce fruit periodically, which you can then come over here and shake. And it'll, when, it's, when it, you actually see the fruit shaking, it's ready to be harvested. But if you don't harvest it on your own, eventually they will fall on their own. Anyway, um, these eggs, you can sell the egg shards at the black market. When you give your uh, chow stuff, 
they'll, they'll consume it. We never actually looked at this child's stats, but we'll, just, we'll do that next time. And so you'll be, you'll basically be seeing me force feeding a lot of these guys. Um, so fruit and food increase stamina. As you can see, dude, Zach, you got to eat. Like, I don't want, I don't, I, I don't have time for this. So yeah, food produces stamina, okay? And if you come over here, these are the chaos drives. Remember the things we've been collecting from the, from the enemies in the game? Like the robots and stuff? This, these chaos drives actually, you can give them to the chow and they will produce, uh, it'll level up the other stats. So the green chaos drives here are for the running level, the running power uh, stat. There's red ones you can get, the red ones are for power. Purple is for flying, and then there's yellow ones, and the yellow one is for swimming. But, check this out. Fast track to the dark side, ready? Petting. So, literally, pet. Pet. This is like literally the fastest way to get them to be influenced to dark. If you notice, their body is not only changing color, but their wings are changing. And the little point on his tip is ch on his head is changing, his tail is changing, and uh, the ball on his head is changing colors as well. And the ball on his head is obviously designed for showing emotion. And you just keep doing this, and this, and this, and this. Now, you can see, he's now forever influenced to be a dark chow. Now, he's still a baby. So, I actually have to keep giving him fruit, keep petting him, keep picking him up. It's like you can pick him up and, like, rock him and get them to love you and all this different stuff. And pet and all these different things. I'll keep giving him fruit when they're hungry. And after a total of one in-game hour, this guy will transform into a uh, into a dark gel. Now let me bring Sonic in real quick, and I will show you what the hero the starter looks like. All right, I'm back in here with uh, okay, I'm back in here with Sonic. So here's Cosmo, nice little guy. I'm also going to give Cosmo uh. A fruit so I'll shake some of the fruit down now what's cool is that because I've influenced the other one with shadow and I will be influencing this guy with Sonic I can be in here with either character and time will be affected for both of them and they will both change into the ones they need to be all right Cosmo I don't have time for this ish this video is going long enough as it is but there's a lot of basics we got to cover Next episode would pretty much be me just waiting in this garden and showing you the different gardens and how things work in the different aspects. So, allow me to show you what this guy looks like. Consume your fruit. Okay, now you pet. Now get ready for the fun. Pet. Pet. As you can see from this tutorial. So his body's changing. His tail is a little bit more rounded. His wings are becoming more angel-like. And he's actually losing the point on his head. And it's turning into little ears. Cute little ears. Shut up, Sonic. I'm talking. And his, obviously, colors are white and blue and yellow. And the ball on his head has turned blue. Hey, I can't have you just drowning on me right now, Zach. Okay. But there you go. That's the that's pretty much the basics of uh, Chow Garden. So this is, again, the Chow Garden. And you've seen the Kitten Garden. And next episode, I'll go over a little bit more things like the Chow Capturing Machine or Chow Departure Machine and how that works. And obviously where this cave leads to and maybe we'll even get our first different garden are you ready maybe you are maybe you aren't but stick around and you'll see from this tutorial <laughs> how it all looks anyways take care guys thanks for watching